Now, since President Cyril Ramaphosa banned alcohol sales to help stop the spread of COVID-19, South Africans have turned to home brewing to quench their thirst. From vodka and ciders to even pineapple beer, there has been a significant rise of people creating their own alcoholic drinks in the comfort of their homes. CGTN's Daniela Pearson reports. At a time when South Africa's liquor industry is in dire straits, it's not all doom and gloom for Frank van Venzveen. The market has absolutely gone crazy. Um, when the, the liquor ban was initially um, announced, we had people coming to the shop in, in, in a panic and essentially buying everything inside. And a few weeks later, uh, the online orders uh, on our website had uh, grown out of control to a point where we could barely deal with them anymore. Bars and off-licenses in South Africa have been closed since late March, under a strict COVID-19 lockdown imposed by the government. However, the decision hasn't stopped customers desperate for alternatives. From vodka ciders to pineapple beer, there's been a significant rise of people creating their own alcoholic drinks from the comfort of their homes. We made home brews in school, <laughs> so, so, so it, it's, been, it's, it's been there, uh, and uh, people just have to, to do it in the safe way. I think there are sites where you can get uh, the ingredients and the right procedures. While the home brewing business is a boon for the likes of Van Vesveen, it's also coming at the expense of traditional purveyors of booze. Some of us, our religion believes on doing home brewed beer, going to the cemeteries, talking to our ancestors the way we believe from the back days. We couldn't do that. So it means like even our ancestors don't matter anymore. Our religion doesn't matter anymore. With an easing of lockdown restrictions from June 1st, alcohol sales will once again be permitted in South Africa, though under tight restrictions and only for home consumption. Nonetheless, Van Vesveen says he won't end his backlog as he expects many of his new customers to stick with home brewing, whether as a new hobby or due to financial strains brought on by the pandemic. Daniela Pearson, CGTN.